in uh, this exercise, exercise number eight, we will look at property creation and assignment. The first page in this exercise, which is page 67, shows you a schematic of uh, diagram and color coding. Uh, this diagram was actually generated using the stat graphics. It shows you where, uh, you know, what type of properties have been created in the stat model and where they should be assigned, okay? And on the right hand side, it actually shows you the color coding or a, a legend, okay? So we'll look at how to uh, assign properties. Now, if you have not followed um, the previous exercises, you can actually open up uh, the data sets, okay, and uh, that we have given you. Uh, you can open up my bridge underscore one dot std file if you wish. But if you have been follow, following along, okay, I mean, if you've done all the exercises in the past uh, from uh, you know, that were covered in the exercise one, two, seven, okay, you've followed all the steps, uh, then you don't have to open up this file, okay? Now, with that, uh, continuing from the last um, uh, module, which is uh, assignment of supports, uh, the next task is to assign properties, okay? So on the left-hand side, if you click on general, it'll open up uh, the properties. Sorry, if you go to uh, general, it'll open up the properties by default, okay? Or you can click on general property sub-tab also. Now, on the right-hand side, you will see a, uh, a properties dialog box. We don't have anything in this properties dialog box that, uh, that if you click on like the section database, it'll open up, uh, you know, the AIAC uh, section database for you, okay? Now, uh, in this uh, competition, I don't think anyone, uh, I mean, uh, very few of us will, will be actually be uh, a few might be using um, standard EIAC sections, so uh, you might want to create your own sections. And the uh, one that's being used in this model is a tube section. Okay, so if you go on the left hand side, click on tube. Uh, on the right hand side, we have standard tubes that are defined as per uh, the AIC code. Okay, but if you want it, uh, you can define your own. Here, there's an option called define tube. You can provide the thickness of the tube. On page uh, 68 of your manual, um, we create our first tube section, and uh, and the uh, what we want to do is um, is that tube section is a square tube, 0.5 by 0.5 inches and uh, like uh, you know uh, a, I mean but in in the in the manual we've shown you the properties in in units of feet okay so what we'll do is we'll say thickness of that tube in uh, instead in terms of feet is 0 0.00 2917 okay now WT is the the width of the tube okay if you press F2 here uh, okay it doesn't work here but uh, but in the other dialog boxes it does anyways uh, if you just type in 0 0.041667 okay I'm just copying off the values from uh, your manual page 68 figure number two and then for the DT which is the depth of the tube I'm just going to put in 0 0.041667 okay so the same number so it's, it's basically a square tube with the thickness okay we'll just click on add so that's our first tube section now uh, let's uh, look at the second section now the second tube section is basically has the same thickness, but the uh, width is basically double. Okay, so we'll just put in eight three three three. Let's put in one more three and zero point zero eight three 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 three. Okay, and if you click on add, 
and that creates our second uh, tube section. Now the third tube section has the exact same thickness, okay, but has a width of 0 0.125 feet and a depth of 0 0.125 feet, okay. And let's click on the add button. Now uh, the last section that we need is a pipe section. Now that's a standard AIC section. So on the left hand side we can pick pipes and we see there is a two inch pipe right so if you go to pipe uh five seven inch ten inch so if you go to view uh you know it, it'll show you if you say pipe two it's about two inches outer diameter right so we'll just select that one okay pipes 20 and you can also define a pipe if you want, okay? So let's click on add. Now, when we assign these, I mean, create, selected these properties from this dialog box, it automatically picked a material for us, okay? So no need of assigning material now. So we'll just click on close, okay? So on the right-hand side, we see user-defined tubes, uh, three of them, and then we have a pipes 20, okay? We have looked at how to assign, you know, specifications, supports, the same deal with, with properties, okay? You basically f follow the same three-step process. Let's uh, select the first uh, tube section. And uh, if you look at your manual on page 70, it shows you, you know, which members is that is that tube section supposed to be assigned to, okay? So easiest way of picking those sections would be to get a, an elevation view of the structure. Okay, select all those members. Okay, granted that it'll select more than what we need. Okay, so we can easily go in and unhighlight those members that we don't think should be should have that first property assigned to it. Okay, so I'm just going to unhighlight some members if you zoom in and these members do not have that property assigned as well Hit the control key, hold it down, and you can unhighlight members if you want. And finally, these support sections are not pipes as well, okay? So that's step number two. Now the step number three is basically click on the assign button. So it assigns that pipe property to those members. Now let's go to select menu, by inverse, beam selection. Okay, so what it does is it inverts your beam selection. And then you can click on view, view selected objects only. So now we have other members I mean, these are only members that do not have any properties assigned, okay? Now, let's pick the second property. And look at page number 71, figure number 8 of your manual. It tells you to select all the legs, so we'll do that. Okay, don't pick the leg extensions. And the top then we need to pick these members and then we need to pick all these members in the center 
Okay, so you can basically hold the control key and highlight these beams at the center as well. Okay. So everything except uh, actually, you know, there are some members. Mm. Okay, so we'll see what what you need to be needs to be done. Okay, so now click and assign. Okay, so now if you click on view whole structure, okay, we have basically assigned uh, properties to most of the sections except the pipes. Okay, so these are the pipe extensions. And these pipe extensions should not have any property assigned yet, but I think we did. But uh, we'll look at that. So unhighlight this box on the right hand side that says highlight assigned geometry okay and then click on the pipe section so what we have done is se selected the pipe section now selected four of those extensions okay those were supposed to be pipes click on assign so that'll assign the pipe section to those members and uh, finally okay Page 71, figure 9, shows us that, you know, these members to which we assigned R1, you know, they should actually have, uh, you know, the third property assigned, okay? So we'll pick the third property for those members, okay? So uh, now, if you right-click on your screen and click on 3D Rendering, Okay, you should be able to see a rendered mode. You can close this dialog box on the right hand side. And if you zoom in, okay, you should be able to see a rendered mode of the structure. Okay, so you see all the properties assigned, all the specifications like the offsets. You see like, there's two members at the same location. You can rotate this structure and, and verify if the property assignment has really worked, okay? So you see these, these these portions have different sizes, right? Than the rest of the structure. Now, if you go back to property on the left hand side, on the right hand side, if you click on define, you can define circular profiles steel. You can provide rectangular steel profiles if you want. T sections, trapezoidal, general sections, okay? Now these are general sections in, in which, in this case, you need to assign all the all the areas and, and so on, but you can actually draw uh, general sections also. If you go to Tools, Menu, uh, Create User Table, this allows you to draw custom sections. Uh, in the manual, I think we have referenced a document uh, uh, which allows you to basically learn how to create custom sections inside StatPro. Okay, like not uh, you know sections that are uh, not not standard in the industry. Okay. So uh, the next thing uh, that we're going to look at is formation of can the cantilever section. Okay. Um, and in this case, um, you know, that's a separate exercise. It's exercise number nine. Um, and in that section, we'll basically look at how to modify this geometry such that you can create your cantilever portion.